Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig, and I'm just going to be showing you the official release notes for 2.3. It is now out. We're going to go over what it covers, but for the most part, if you've been using the beta or been following anyone who's been talking about it, you know most of what's going on, but I'll still hit on the highlights because this is very exciting. 2.3 is what I've been using on my latest tutorial series, and it is a absolute beast of an update. It is definitely worth updating and Overall, it's just awesome. So first off, there's the asset browser. This is a totally new way of going through your resources. So over here, you can see it kind of looks like it might be the same thing, but it is a completely revamped and designed system. First off, you've got quick access up here with game options here now instead of uh, down on its own. You can actually remove this entire quick access from the preferences if you don't want it there, which I kind of tend to do. I haven't found a way to use it well, but hey, there it is. And then you've got all of the folders that you're used to seeing with a few others, because they've added new types. But the thing is that these are just folders like on Windows, like any folder you have, you can put anything inside of it. So here are some fonts for a project I'm working on, but I can right click and I can add an object inside of here. So no longer is this actually categorized by type, it is just containers, so you can group everything you want in any way you want. You can also, uh, colorize specific objects. You can add colors to specific groups and then you can find them really easily. So this is a whole new way to actually organize and use your asset browser, which is pretty cool. Then you've got the sequence asset type. I'm gonna be doing an entire videos or series on this because the sequences is really and truly amazing. But I've got one here and I'll just show you. This one is super simple. I've just got two things I'm altering, which are the position and scale. So I press play and I've got this. Normally doing something like this would take dozens of lines of code and a lot of figuring out, but now it's all keyframed. So I can change any of this to look exactly how I want with keyframes on position, scale, color multiply, image index, image speed, origin, and so on. This can also broadcast messages. Uh, it can have events trigger on certain points and you can actually put any kind of asset you want inside of here. So this is a sprite, but I could put an object in there. And then during my game, I could run this sequence and I could replace the object from my sequence that I have animated with the object I have running in my game. The possibilities truly are limitless. It's just based on what you can imagine and how much time you wanna spend animating and doing something like that. So it's really, really cool. Next thing is the animation curves asset. This is just right in line with the sequences. So this is what's called an embedded curve. So this is specifically for this sequence in this scale but I could take this and I could export it to uh, an external animation curve. And if I did that, then it would come up and well, let's see, it's down here now, it's called scale. And I could now use this animation curve on any other sequence for any other property. It's a really cool way of getting some kind of look or feel or transition. And then you can use that on anything else, but I definitely don't need that right there. So. That's really cool as well, but it goes right along with sequences. And then we have the inspector, which currently only works for sequences, but it is a detailed view at an at a resource inside of GameMaker. So right now it's, in a, it's a whole new window which you can move anywhere you want and you can see all the details of whatever you're looking at. Like I said, right now it's only for sequences, but you can see everything that's inside of there, where it's at and everything that's going on. So. Right now it's kind of cool, but it's gonna get a lot more updates as uh, 2.3 matures and they add new features. And there's a whole new manual, which is right here. So they've added a whole new section for introduction and a quick start guide with more videos, more GIFs, and a whole new walkthrough for beginners, which I think is really cool. They've also added a lot of new language features, which are also reflected inside of the manual. And then there's just bunch of new stuff. So they have reworked a lot of the UI. Most of it is still the same, so you probably won't notice. But like if you open up a sprite, it's going to look a little bit different. You can see that it uses an actual like timeline down here. But if you open this up, it that's pretty much exactly the same. All the options are still there. So there's a few new facelifts, but for the most part, everything is going to function and work just the way that you would expect it to. And then 
uh, all of the language changes are also the really, really big thing, which in my opinion makes a very big difference. They've added new functions, they've added new ways to use arrays, now all of them are just one dimensional, which is a huge deal. It makes accessing them and making complex arrays so much easier easier. So that's really, really exciting. I'm going to be doing a video on that because that will completely change the way you do like advanced inventories and stuff like that using uh, one dimensional arrays now for everything. So it's just arrays inside of arrays inside of arrays, which is pretty cool. But that is really about it. Uh, if you notice any bugs, do let them know. I ran into a bug just last week where I couldn't change like any setting at all. And I reported it, and they were really great about getting back to me. And somehow this option right here had been set to nothing. Like, it was just blank. And so anytime I went to change something, it wouldn't. It just would not apply it. And they were able to really help me out. And there's probably going to be some bugs and some funky things because this is a huge new update. So definitely use the report a bug feature right up here in the help menu. They get back to you really quick and they are awesome. So if you're able to download this, then do it. The first time you open up a project in this new update, it will ask you to convert it and you'll save it with a new name, but I imagine it will work perfectly fine. I didn't have any problems converting my projects. The biggest thing is when you convert scripts, it's gonna put it in here and the scripts are now containers for functions. So you'll just have to get kind of used to that and figure out where all of your scripts actually went off to. But that's it for 2.3, this huge update. Get it, play around with it, and look out for more content from me because I'm going to be putting out a ton of stuff on 2.3 in the near future. But that's all I wanted to share with you today. If you liked this video, please do leave a like. If you want to see more stuff from me, subscribe, ring that bell to see more of my content in the future. Leave a comment because every Game Maker tutorial from here on out, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for my beginner course. All you got to do is like the video and leave a comment to be entered and I'll reach out to you a week after the video is posted if you win. And you can use that for yourself or give it to a friend or even as a discount on one of my more expensive courses. But that's all. So thanks for joining me. And as always, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now, and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as $1 a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.